Ladies, we are so excited to have you a part of this initiative. Congratulations once again on being a top 25 leading women entrepreneurs. And we are excited to learn more about how you are co-founded this company and how you've gained such success. I'm Suzanne Serra. Um, I'm an attorney and I'm Catherine Nook Freeman. We're the co-founders of Nook Freeman and Serra. And uh, Catherine and I started our business in January of 2006 and uh, we're an employment law boutique headquartered in Short Hills, New Jersey. We have a model where we provide all types of employment services to businesses of many different sizes. So what we'll do from the very front end is we'll get in, we'll provide business advice, provide legal advice, really counsel businesses on how to comply with the many employment laws. We'll also get in there and train their managers, train their boards of directors on the existing employment laws, how they impact responsibilities of the company under those laws. And then we litigate and we defend those companies if they can't completely avoid lawsuits and we, we vigorously defend their interests. Well, it's funny, actually, Catherine and I both um, had fathers who were entrepreneurs. And um, I guess it was something that I always thought would be really interesting. And I watched my father do it and thought it would be um, you know, just a wonderful thing to have my own business. But both of us actually saw that growing up and then we actually both worked in very large firms and started talking many, many years even before we actually founded our business about how much we would like to have our own business and do things our way. I wasn't certain that I wanted to go into law until the last few months of my, um, of my college career. I actually had majored in business. I double majored in heavy business load, accounting and finance. And I was in the honors program, so I was writing a thesis on finance and accounting. And, <laughs> And uh, I always knew my strengths really were in, I love to read, I love to write, I love to speak in public, but I think I wanted to sort of make sure that I brought up my, my weaknesses, perhaps the quantitative, the math side, and I was able to do well on that. And once I knew, you know, I can do that too, then I said, now I'm gonna do what I really wanna do, and that is focus on the reading, the writing, the speaking, and go on to law school. One of the reasons we started the firm was we had both been practicing for several years and we were both at the point in our career where things are starting to take off. Professionally, you're, you, you know, you've developed to a point where people are starting to call on you and respect you. We were starting to develop business. Um, and then we noticed that it happened to coincide with a lot of people having children. And we really started noticing this mass exodus of very, very talented women out of the legal profession at what was really the pinnacle of their careers. And I had a lot of conversations with them about how distraught they were over that decision, having felt like they've been put in the position of having to choose whether they're going to either compromise their professional standards or compromise their standards with their children. And it was actually one of the things that ignited the decision for, the, for Catherine and I to start Nook Freeman and Sarah because the goal was to create a law firm where we would, we would provide the same, if not better, quality of service to our clients but also create a culture and a team-oriented environment where all of our attorneys and all of our staff could more easily balance the demands of being a parent with being a professional. You know, we're, we're constantly examining what is leadership, what, and, and we are constantly trying to be the best leaders that we can be. And you know, one of the things that I think is so important to have or to be as a leader is to be, to be fearless and to be fearless to, you know, don't be afraid of success, don't be afraid of failure, don't be afraid to say, you know what, I didn't make the best decision this, you know, last time, but I'm going to make a better one next time. And I think that's, you know, that's something that's really important as a leader, being fearless. Hi, my name is Linda Welbrock, and I am the founder of the Leading Women Entrepreneurs Initiative. Congratulations once again to the top 25 leading women entrepreneurs. This initiative has been incredibly exciting and inspiring. The list of finalists are made up of 150 women. Their estimated combined revenue generation is over $1 billion. They are employing over 10,000 people and they are supporting over 1,800 nonprofits. The impact that these women have had on our state and local communities is absolutely outstanding. The criteria that the women entrepreneurs were judged on include innovation, market potential, advocacy for women, and community involvement. 
It is my mission to raise awareness for these outstanding leaders and present them as role models to future women entrepreneurs and to the future generation of young girls who are looking for options for their own careers. I believe if we work together and use the power of the media to present these women as icons and as role models, that we can make a cultural shift in today's society. We are opening the nomination process for 2013. If you know a leading woman entrepreneur in your community, you can send the nominations to me at Linda at Leading Women Entrepreneurs or visit my website for further details. Again, I look forward to seeing you and meeting you in 2013.